up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I will be giving you guys a three in one special. Yes, so not only will I be making those delicious air fried chicken wings that you write in the title, I'll also be showing you guys how I make homemade french fries as well as a delicious spicy garlic parmesan sauce to mix it all together. Now before I get to the ingredients, if this is the first time that you're seeing my face, make sure to just click that subscribe button below so that you can stay up to date on all my latest recipes. So, ingredients, they are very, very few. There's only a couple things that you'll need to bring this delicious meal all together. So right here, I have a pot of vegetable oil. Now, I know you're probably like, I thought you said air fryer. These are for the french fries. Now, I found that trying to make french fries in the air fryer, although possible, they do not come out as crispy as I would like them to. So when it comes to the french fries at home, I stick to regular vegetable oil and a regular way of frying. We're saving the calories by air frying the chicken. So then I have russet potatoes that I have cut up into french fry size and then had put them in cold water. Now what the cold water does is it releases the starch from the french fry, which gives the french fry a better crisp. So the longer that you have your french fry sitting in the cold water, the crispier french fry you'll have. So that's all you'll need for the french fries. For the chicken wings, I have 20 bone-in party wings here from my local supermarket, some olive oil, and then I also have a pan that is from my air fryer. Now I have, as you can see right there, the Cuisinart 5-in-1 air fryer. It does everything from bake, convectional bake, toast, broil, to air fry. It is one of the best things in my kitchen along with that amazing KitchenAid right there. Then for the sauce, all you will need is some preferred hot sauce. I have a little bit of Frank's Red Hot here, some butter, and some garlic. And then of course, salt and pepper for everything. Now the first thing I'm gonna get started on is my chicken because that's gonna take the longest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take about a tablespoon of olive oil. Now I know air fryers are supposed to be oilless, but I still feel if you put a tiny, tiny bit, I mean a tablespoon for 20 wings, they just come out so much crispier. And you'll really be surprised at how crispy they come out. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of olive oil, and I should be using regular olive oil, but I only have extra virgin. Then I'm gonna put some salt, and some fresh cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna give this a mix. So now that my chicken is fully mixed with the olive oil, salt, and pepper, I'm going to align it in the dish now this fits exactly 20, I know because I've done this a bunch of times. Okay, now that my chicken wings are perfectly aligned, you wanna make sure that they are in a single layer that no chicken wings on top of the other to ensure a crispiness on every single side. I'm gonna pop this in my air fryer at 360 degrees for 12 minutes. Then I'm gonna flip them to the other side, give them another 12 minutes. And then lastly, I'm gonna give them one final crisp up. I'm gonna turn my temperature to 390 degrees and I'm gonna let them sit there for another six minutes just to ensure that the outside is a nice golden brown crispy crust that we all want on our chicken wings. Okay, now that my chicken is in my air fryer, it's already smelling good, literally. I am going to take my french fries out of the water and I have put them on a pan with on a paper towel just to drain all that water out. Because if you put a soaking wet french fry into hot oil, you do not know what's gonna happen because it's not gonna be pretty. You're probably gonna hurt yourself. So now that my french fries are nice and dry, in about half a batch at a time, I'm going to take them and put them into my fryer. And they are going to sit in my fryer for about seven minutes. And then I'm gonna take them out of the fryer and put them... Ooh, boy. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Okay, so my french fries are going to sit in the fryer for about seven minutes at 310 degrees. That way the insides can fully cook. And then I'm gonna take them out, fry the other batch, and then I'm gonna put them back in at 360 degrees in order to give that outside a beautiful, nice crisp, just like we did the chicken wings. Okay, so my chicken wings have been in for 12 minutes. I just wanna give you guys a look at what they look like after 12 minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give these a flip to the other side and put them back in for another 12 minutes. Okay, so my first batch is ready to come out of the fryer. It has been seven minutes. Now they are not gonna be a golden brown yet. Remember, because we're gonna put them back in at a higher temperature in order to crisp up that outside. Now my french fries have finished cooking on the inside. Both batches did about seven minutes. And now I'm gonna crank my heat up and my chicken should be almost done with its second round and also ready to go on its final round of crisping. So I will meet you over there to show you what that looks like. My chicken has done 12 minutes on both sides and that is what it looks like at this point. Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, a little oil. Now I'm gonna stick it back in raise that temperature up to 390 degrees and I'm gonna let that crisp for about five minutes. Now that the temperature of my oil has reached 390 degrees, I might have said 364 but I met 390, I'm going to put my french fries back in. They will sit there for two minutes and will turn a gorgeous golden brown crispy color and my chicken also has two minutes left. So I'll show you what that looks like when it comes out and then we'll put everything together and make some sauce for you. Now for my sauce, this is very, very simple. We're actually just gonna do it in the microwave. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hot sauce, you're gonna pour your hot sauce right in there. You're going to add a stick of butter, well, a quarter stick of butter. Then about a, I like a lot of garlic, so you can do garlic to how much you want. But I like a lot of garlic, so I'm gonna do about two teaspoons of garlic. A little bit of pepper and salt. And you're gonna pop this in your microwave for about a minute. You wanna just make sure that that butter fully melts and everything fully incorporates. And let's get everything together, cause I am starving. Chicken has cooked 12 minutes on both sides and then an additional six minutes at a higher temperature and wow that looks amazing. Okay. Now my french fries are ready to come out if I can only find my, there we go. So my french fries are a beautiful golden brown color. They are ready to come out. They are ready to be eaten. I'm gonna take these delicious french fries out. I'm gonna put them right on a paper towel pan just to catch all that oil. Now while my french fries cool, I'm going to season them with whatever desired seasoning you want. I'm sure you could buy french fry seasoning. I'm a classic salt and pepper guy. I like my french fries heavily salted and heavily peppered. Now I'm gonna take my chicken wings I'm gonna place them right in the sauce. They are so crispy. I mean, when I first did these in the air fryer, I could not believe how crispy they came out. It just, it really does wonders. And you know, it's, it's healthy, it's, it's really healthy. The butter in the sauce and the Frank's Red Hot and the salt may not be that healthy, but hey. Now you're gonna go ahead and just toss these on up. Okay, now before I dig in, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all my latest recipes. Thank you guys, have a great day.